This lesson deals with supplemental problem 1.3. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 1 supplemental problems on page 4. Given the circuit shown below here with the voltages and currents labeled, let's find the power absorbed by each element and let's find the total power absorbed by the entire circuit. You may recall that power absorbed is current entering the plus terminal and leaving the minus terminal as the product of the voltage and the current. So for element A, we have 4 volts and 2 milliamps, so 4 times 2 milli is 8 milliwatts. Now for device B, the current is leaving the plus terminal. If we change the direction of that current, this becomes a plus 3 milliamps. And so now the power absorber then would be the current entering of 3 milliamps times 6 volts, or 18 milliwatts. For device C, we have current entering the plus terminal. Okay, so it'd be minus 3 milliamps times 10 volts, so it'd be absorbing a minus 30 milliwatts. For device D, I've got current entering the minus terminal, leaving the plus. So let's turn the direction of that around as a plus 5 milliamps. So the product of 5 milli and 4 volts gives me 20 milliwatts. And then lastly, for element E, to have current entering the plus terminal, turn the direction of that around, which changes the sign of the current. The power absorbed then is 8 volts times minus 2 milliamps, or minus 16 milliwatts. And the calculations are shown here below. Now let's add up all the results. So all the positive quantities were 8 milliwatts, 18 milliwatts, 20 milliwatts. I also have negative terms of minus 30 milliwatts and minus 16. When you add this up, you get 46 milliwatts. And when you add this up, you also get 46 milliwatts, and the sum is equal to zero. It's not a coincidence. This is going to happen in every circuit. We'll take a look at the proof of this in the class notes. And this is supplemental problem 1.3.